Hey, what's up, you guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome back to another video, the last of our Midwest Horizon series. So, as I had pointed out in the previous video, uh, I left it up to you guys as to what you wanted to do. If you wanted to stick to this series or move to something different, heavily, heavily voted for the El Elkater, Elkater, Iowa map, however you pronounce it. I'm not 100% positive, so if I'm butchering it, let me know down in the comments. But um, that was heavily voted for uh, to run that with seasons. So what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be selling off everything and by everything I mean everything this is gonna be a longer video because what we are going to be doing is we're gonna be you know our grain cart um, you know we have grain in our combine right now so we're gonna be dumping the grain out of this combine and into our grain cart actually we can actually even just cut out the middleman we're just gonna go dump this straight into our truck uh, we're going to make sure all of our grain is gone. We're going to make sure all of our bales are gone. And then we're going to be taking all of our equipment straight to the dealership to sell. So we can get top dollar for it. Because all the money that we make selling everything off here is going to be used to move to our new farm in Iowa. So we want to make sure that we have everything sold. That is including... All of our buildings, all of our land, everything that we own. We want to have as much money as possible going into our new farm. Um, so that way we can have a decent amount of money and everything like that. So, um, we're going to go ahead. We're going to just go drop this header on the trailer. Um... And get this unhooked for starters. And what I'm considering doing actually as well is renting a semi and a low boy to haul. You know, we'll use probably pickups to haul most of our uh, trailed machines. But then um, using a low boy to haul are you know the combine the tractors all of that stuff so what we're going to do here um let's check and see do we have anything in storage we do not perfect so this load of grain can be hauled directly into town let's figure out the best pr price for this load of wheat right now Wheat, we have 1865 at Horizon Co-op, which that is, okay, so we can untake that place. So we are going to run this to the Horizon Co-op, we're going to go sell this, and then we're going to run the truck over, this truck in this trailer, over to the dealership right away, and we are going to sell them, and then we're probably, like I said, we're probably going to pick up a low boy um, just to make it a little bit easier and we do also have to lease another truck as well um, to help with hauling the square bales away um, so we can see if we can't take them somewhere uh, and sell those square bales um, I don't remember what all I last showed in the last video that I recorded on this map so I don't know if I updated you guys on stuff that I had done with the square bales and whatnot, um, but you know, granted the circumstance of this video, I'm not really gonna get into it as to what was all going on on here. Um, you know, basically it boiled down to there being issues with um, the bales. I mentioned this in the video uh, for choosing um, moving forward uh, with videos. But, um, I had mentioned that the, you know, with the round bales, they only wanted to make the large bales, and with square bales, they wanted to make itty-bitty, 
uh, little cubes and that just was not working uh, ended up taking out the John Deere 605 or 568 round baler and the Vermeer 605 M baler um, and um, took out Medicine Creek which I'm assuming was probably my main issue um, because that map is set up for larger bales and whatnot so um, I hadn't I hadn't even thought of that uh, prior uh, whatsoever but um, it came across uh, the thought came into my head when I was on my Michigan farming save game that I've been messing around on uh, for the last few days and um, sure enough that was the trick so had we kept moving forward with this series we could have uh, done things similar to how we were originally planning but uh, it's alright that's kinda how the cookie crumbles I guess <clears throat> so we might get a few hundred bucks out of this load nothing too uh, exciting I mean it's only seven hundred and a half bushels and it's only going for eighteen dollars a bushel so I mean we might get a few hundred bucks out of it um, we could have done better on the crop with in terms of like taking care of the fertilizer and whatnot um, I sh should have done things a little bit differently with that but um, I do know now what I need to do a little bit differently so but it's okay you know we know for we know this or I know this going into our next series so we'll get it all figured out and get it taken care of in our next series here so we're almost here to the elevator this is the same elevator that we were selling uh, corn off to when we first started the series we're just going to take a little shortcut through the gas station because we have a lot of work to do and I want to get it done as quickly as we can we're just going to kind of jump over the scale here and like I said I just want to get this done because uh, this is just one of the minor things in a lot of uh, stuff that we have that we have to get done so let's go ahead pull up here alright we have sixty four thousand two hundred seventy four dollars let's get this sold see what we can get out of this It's actually going to be a little more than I th was uh, thinking it would, which is a-okay. So we made $13,063 from that 700 bushels of wheat that we had. So not bad not bad at all um, I'm actually pretty satisfied with that because um, there I mean we didn't have a whole lot in this trailer so we got a pretty decent price for it so now we're gonna run this to the dealership we're gonna drive it in we're gonna sell it and then we're gonna go ahead and lease a low boy um, a rig and then we're also going to lease a auto loading truck um, for hauling off those square bales provided that I can find somewhere to sell them um, I'm not sure if there is a spot that I can sell them on here I gotta look and I don't really want to buy a placeable sell point uh, at this moment in time so Right, let's get this door opened up. I believe I have the one on the other side open. Yes, I do. So I go ahead. We're gonna pull this guy on in here. Make sure that uh, both of these are in here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop that there. Pull this ahead, 
And we're just going to cram it in here next to the trailer. Alright, so let's see what we can get for these for the truck. $42,352, 38506 for the hopper. And now we're going to go on in here. We're going to go to trucks. Uh, what do we got for trucks here? Let's go with this guy. But let's get it. Not a flatbed. We don't really need the heavy haul either. There we go. Um, just some regular rims and tires. Dual curved back stacks. Dual straight with flap. Yeah, let's go with that. We'll leave the 389 headlights on there. Um, let's go with the red and white. We'll throw a headache rack on there. Why not? All right, we're gonna lease that for six thousand one hundred seventy-one dollars. And then we need to go here to Buster's Vehicles. Actually, first we need to go here, and we need to see grass. There is not a place to sell it, so we're just going to leave the hay bales there. Um, and we'll just leave them sit for the next person. Uh, and then we need low loaders. We're going to pick up, let's see, this is the shorter version. Uh, we got this guy that we could get. Never actually used this trailer, so we could get that one. Uh, does this even have ramps, though? I don't believe that that has ramps. Um, we do have the Trail Tech trailer. Um, what happened to my other XL trailer? Oh. I must have accidentally deleted that. Because this is the short version, and I don't really necessarily want that. We're going to go ahead and we're going to lease this trailer for $2,442. Let's go ahead. We're going to hop in our leased truck and trailer for our moving purposes. Okay. So that's the button for that. Now, what do we got for our trailer here? Unfold ramp. Oh, that's actually pretty freaking cool. Alright, well, let's get this to the farm. Actually, the first thing that we're going to go pick up is we're going to go pick up the combine and we're going to get the tractor that the grain cart is on. Oh, and it has Jake brake in it. Cool. Uh, we're going to go pick up those two pieces of machinery and then we're going to use the pickup. Uh, like I said, we're going to use the pickups to haul a lot of the other, a lot of, basically all of the trailed things in possibly we might actually throw some on here uh, so what I'm gonna probably do is we'll go get the grain cart and tractor and then we'll have the tractor that's on the grain cart we'll have that at the store and then we can use that for unloading this trailer and then we can use the tractors at the farm for loading stuff onto the trailer uh, at the yard to haul it to the dealer uh, gonna see if I can't possibly try and get the combine on here with the tractor and grain cart. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. I think I'm kind of daydreaming, daydreaming, considering that. But we're gonna find out. I 
just go ahead and throw that tag axle down now. Then I don't gotta worry about it later. There are a few things as well that I'm just going to sell directly from the store menu. I'm not going to actually take it to the dealership. Um, like our Farm King Auger, the Backhoe, Jump Auger, our uh, Small Auger. Now, there's a few things I'm not going to worry about pulling all the way there. But um, for the most part, we're going to try and sell everything direct. So we can try and get as much money as possible. Whoop. Got a little close to that guardrail there. See if we can't get somewhat straight. Alright, we're going to let that do its thing, and then we're going to grab this guy here. Oops. I forgot that this tractor was still running. My bad. See if we can fit this big beast up on this trailer here without hanging off too badly. Hmm. You know what? It might just be easier to sell all this equipment directly. Otherwise, this might get to be a l not only a long video, but a... Uh, very annoying video as well so uh, first things first we'll go ahead and we'll sell our farm king and here we got our uh, sacondiac auger for 8,399 uh, our sunset 1570 case 30,191 uh, our 1066 International for 18795 uh, Our Case IH 235 Lawn Tractor for 4307 Here's our 7130, uh, 47108. Our 7150, 39681. Uh, another 7130, 34653. Our International 886. 10,705 our 7080 for 9,528 uh, we got our 305 73,753 here goes our 9610 for 30,770 our uh, S2200 New Holland Chopper 25,592 uh, we got our Forskrit E303 for a whopping 83,329 Quite a price. Our John Deere 90 skid steer, $20,630. Um, we're going to wait with our pickups here. Our four wheeler, $3,587. Cane grain trailer, $11,598. Uh, here goes our grain cart, $17,921. Our grain platform, $24,378. Uh, here goes our sunflower header, 16157. Our 608C, 27289. Here's our chopper head, 6398. Uh, our John Deere Pro Till, 403590. Our 
Great Plains 3S 3000 HD Drill 49904. Our 3600 Kinsey 48388. Not a bad price. Our Blue Jet AT Series 30,476. Uh, our Hardy Mega 2200 27,705. Demco tanks 8533. We got our spreader 2271. I'm just gonna actually just go through and sell all these. Um, mower deck, a rake, our Ford, our, our chopper wagon. Here's a square baler that we had picked up. The square bale auto load trailer, square bale forks, mixer wagon. Grinder, grapple bucket, stock trailer, skid steer, uh, hitch attachment. Here's our header trailer. Uh, another one and another one. Our backhoe jump auger. Here's our snow blower. Plow for the ATV. We're gonna wait on these buildings. Let's make sure there's nothing else in here first. Okay, so we've got our Ford here, and I believe everything else should be all at the farm. I don't, I'm pretty sure I had taken everything to the farm, if I remember correctly. Um, let's see here. Because where is my farm now? It's up here. Let's just double check. Uh, it's not going to let me do it the way that I want. Okay. So, now what we're going to do is we're just going to select select our house. Oh. Oh. There we go. Okay. So, we got our K15 in here. Which needs to come out. And then we're just going to kind of do a walk around of the farm. Make sure that we got everything out of the buildings. Um, yeah, just make sure we ain't forgetting anything. Uh, everything's out of there. Uh, we got our chemical and what not tanks there what do we got in here anything oh we're good in there we got our pressure washer there nothing in there so we're good there what do we got in here I mean I'm doubting that there's anything in here but we're just gonna take one last double check around Make sure that nothing's forgotten. And we're just going to kind of open up the doors on everything. Give it our one last goodbye. So then over here are the square bells I was talking about. Um, what we can do here is we can go F11, we'll turn super strength on, and then if I walk up to these bales and hit delete, 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 delete. Well, let's go ahead and get rid of all these bales quick. Okay, there's that row. Two more rows to go.
We'll just try and do this as quickly as possible. Because I don't want to spend forever on these dang bales. That took me forever to get from the dealership when I bought them to here. Now, had I discovered that bale issue prior to the f first bale that we ever made, we would have been A-OK, -okay, but... Oh, well. Lesson learned. Problem solved. Alright, well... That's everything here. Time to start selling off these buildings. Silo is not empty. The following grain types will be sold to diesel. We have 14,135 liters sitting in our diesel tank. Uh, we are going to get $4,947 on top of the 6468 for the tank. Uh, we had 143,860 of liquid fertilizer. We're getting 50,351 extra for that. 141,660 of herbicides. So we're getting another 49,581. Uh, we're going to sell our Ford pickup. We're going to keep the K15 for now. We're going to sell our pig barn for 15 grand, our feedlot for 4 grand, our fermenting silo. Gonna sell off all these Brock bins. Uh, we only have three of them, but and now we can sell our three hopper bins. Okay, we'll sell our grain bag. We'll sell our heated shop. Sell both of our Morton storage sheds. And we got our Quonset. Uh, we got our two 40 by 60 sheds here that can go. Sell our two big commodity shed. We got our hay sheds. We got our multi filling, lime bin, fertilizer bin, seed bin, uh, our pressure washer. Def, we, had ten, we hadn't used any def. We hadn't needed it yet, uh, so we're getting 3500 bucks back for that. Here goes our house. Now we go here. We select our land. Oops, wrong button. Y, sell for 129000 Sell, 55000 Sell, 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 sell. Oh, this is insane. There goes our farmhouse. Or our main farmland. I should say. There we go, folks. It's all gone. Everything is sold except for our trusty K-15. The entire farm is gone. It's kind of sad. I did enjoy this series. I had fun doing it. I enjoyed setting this farmyard up. Um, it was real nice. Not a bad setup. I didn't mind it. Our cornfield's gone. Everything's gone, folks. And we are going to be going into our new farm with nothing but a k-15 and almost three and a half million dollars alrighty folks I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna get this video edited and uploaded right away here tonight for you guys it is only 530 we're gonna get this done I'm going to get this exporting and uploading, and while it is uploading, I will probably be working on the video of getting us set up on our new farm in Iowa. Thanks to everybody for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this series. I hope you all are looking forward to the, next, to the new series starting tomorrow morning. And uh, thanks to everybody for watching. 
I hope everybody enjoyed it. I will see y'all in the next one.